Chainsaw Man looks very different compared to other anime, and I'm not talking about the CGI. I'm talking about the cinematic realism of the anime, which conveys Fujimoto's love of cinema into the medium of anime. But as usual, when it comes to anime fans, there's always some controversy. So far, the anime has received a top-of-the-line adaptation, but there's always something to complain about when it comes to this fandom, which is perfectly fine, but please don't be that toxic fan that causes staff to lock their Twitter account. Oh, wait, that already happened. Looks like we're ahead of schedule. First, let's clear up some facts. So this adaptation perfectly adapts Fujimoto's vision, right? Well, that's a yes. Kind of. It may seem like Fujimoto is heavily involved in the anime's production, as seen by this title and tweet here, but other interviews suggest otherwise. At New York Comic Con, the director Ryu Nakayama stated that Fujimoto was largely hands-off and told the anime staff to adapt it however they wanted. In another interview by Anime News Network, Fujimoto himself states that he feels comfortable leaving it to the anime team, because while he loves anime, he has no experience making it. So in a way, the original manga creator's vision for the anime was to simply just leave it to the production team. And so that seems like it's been happening. Sounds fine, right? Nah, that's just too wholesome for anime fans. Apparently, people said that the director was getting harassed on Twitter. I went to take a look, and to be honest, I saw a lot of positive comments from the fanbase. People from all over the world were showing their love of the series. But then, I noticed. The Japanese fanbase seems to have different opinions. Or at least, they seem more critical, whereas the foreigners, as non-Japanese are called, seem to be more accepting. The Japanese replies tell a completely different story. For the second season, I'd like you to work for a different company. Like, dang, this guy's really telling Ryu Nakayama to get fired or quit his job. Seriously disappointed with MAPPA. <laughs> From godlike material to fu- <laughs> Alright, you can read the rest. But why did you do this? But basically, you know, you got like- to make money, of course, but um, for real though, you have such a successful manga, of course they're going to make an anime adaptation about it. In regards to how MAPPA's doing it, we're going to get to that in the future, so stay tuned. A little more neutral one here, we got both the anime and the manga are have their own original perks. Wait, what the frick am I reading? I am dyslexic AF, bruh. But note this manga panel with the over-the-top facial expressions and exaggerations. We gotta talk about this, so keep this in mind, we'll talk about it later. You know what's real when they pull out these emojis with the circle emoji and the X emoji? Original, high tempo, high tension, surreal, silly, gag, ha ha ha. Kenshi Yonezu's, correct. Basically, they're talking about how um the opening, the artwork for Kenshi Yonezu's um, is just, it looks really great. And then they're saying directors, I wanna, he's basically saying how the director is like changing it up, the Chainsaw Man's vibe, including the art and even the voice actors. All right, that didn't seem too toxic. I mean, there's a certain level of toxicity expected when it comes to anime fans, especially on Twitter. So could this just be the Baga guy jeans making things seem like a way bigger deal? To satisfy my curiosity, I dug a little deeper into the trench of the Japanese anime forums and I saw a thread on it. And yeah, it seems like it was pretty bad. But you know, instead of translating this Japanese into probably broken English, I just want to get a feel of what they think of the director. So, enter sentiment analysis, a way to determine the feel or general vibe of something via natural language processing, computational linguistics, and <laughs> I ain't reading none of that. Fortunately, the Japanese made it easy, because they still be using Yahoo, and Yahoo in Japan developed this search feature baked right in, and I'm not gonna lie, this search is pretty OP, it even gets through stuff like tweets quite well. Imagine how powerful Yahoo would be if it was still popular in the West. Anyways, I searched Chainsaw Man Director, and yeah, it's pretty bad. There's probably some room for error, but the gap is so big, no matter how you look at it, it's clear a lot of Japanese fans complain. Like, I mean, over 80% on a 7-day period. Like, take it with a grain of salt though, cause you know, Twitter users be doing Twitter stuff. The reason Japanese fans seem a little more upset is because of a recent interview in Nikkei Entertainment. No, I don't have access to Japanese magazines, but I do have access to Twitter. <laughs> Alright, this kind Twitter user provided the details of the interview on this tweet here. I'll put a rough translation on the screen here so you could read along. But basically, the director, Ryu Nakayama, stated that they wanted to remove all those faces that weren't doable in real life. Like, basically, you know, those, like, over-the-top expressions, like those meme faces. Yeah, he wants to cut all that. And he doesn't want to make so-called anime. Um, I don't know if that sounds pretentious, but basically, um, he doesn't want to make it seem like Akiba K or Moe, which Akiba that means like um, Akihabara. So basically, he doesn't want to make it seem like the weeb stuff, because 
I don't know. But honestly, there was no way it was going to be like that because it's Chainsaw Man. So I don't know what he's talking about here. This is probably a point that Japanese people didn't like. And then here he's talking about how he wants to make it cinematic and whatnot. And you can read the rest, basically. Here he's showing a tweet from some of the staff members saying, uh, what's so interesting about an anime that looks like the manga? So this kind of shows how some of the production staff have this viewpoint where they don't want to perfectly adapt the manga, which is perfectly fine. But it definitely drew some negativity from the Japanese fandom. Side note, but did you know that some of the fan artists for Chainsaw Man were actually recruited to work officially on the anime? I don't know if it was original Nasu or not, but one of them was it. And here he's contrasting it with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure with the interview from the production team where they're saying that they didn't want to just make a Jojo type anime or a Jojo like anime. They wanted to make Jojo's. They wanted to make Jojo's because Jojo it has a distinct style with the coloring, everything is just over the top, and then the sound effects, and even the visual effects, like when the sound effects happen, like, you know, oda oda oda, they show those sound effects visually on the screen. And they wanted to make that just like how it was in the manga and bring it to life in the anime. So this is like a way to contrast that. And here they're contrasting the director Ryu Nakayama's decisions versus an interview from Mayumi Tanaka, the voice actor of Luffy from One Piece, and how they have completely different ideologies. And here they're showing this Japanese ranking viewership thingamajig where they're saying that Chainsaw Man is 20, but I don't know, I feel like 20 is kind of good. Like there's probably a lot of seasonal anime out right now. For example, I know the number one here as of this picture, it's actually Gundam, which I think is really solid. And number three here is Hitori Bochi or whatever it's called, which I also think is really great. And here we got another tweet from a Japanese user complaining about the director's choices, where he's talking about he wants to make it more realistic with breaking the mold of anime and toning down those voice actors and making a realistic soundtrack. Here he's comparing it to Kenshi Yonezu's kickback, you know, the artwork with those vivid popping color schemes. He's not really complaining here, but essentially you can contrast this with the actual anime, which there's more of a muted color scheme and the lighting and shadows are much more realistic. I don't know, it looks a little more dreary, I guess, compared to this vivid art. Over here, he's interviews with the VAs. If you didn't know, the Denji voice actor, it's like his first major role and it's kind of funny here um this is like a rough translation but literally he's pretty much saying like yo is this this really voice acting i'm getting paid to do this like i'm just talking my regular voice here they were just basically told to tone it down a funny picture here where the director ryo nakayama is folding his arms looking a little disappointed meanwhile the voice actors are all looking kind of funny and happy all right so it's pretty clear that the anime is going for a more realistic approach compared to where the manga had those realistic approach with some of the comedic ones too. You know what's funny? If you didn't know Tatsuki Fujimoto, he LARPs, like he pretends like he's some little girl lolly sister character on Twitter, but now he has a snap back to reality. <laughs> and now he is Tatsuki Fujimoto. He's done with the LARPing. He's done pretending to be a little girl. I don't know, <laughs> completely unrelated, but I thought it was kind of funny. It's not really, I don't know if it's re related to this anime, but it, the timing was funny. <laughs> All right, so what do I feel about this? Well, honestly, I have to agree with the Japanese guys here. Pretty much, if you read the manga, you can't say that it is 100% a reproduction, which it's definitely not. They both have their different charms, but it's clear that this one, the anime, has more of a realistic approach. In a way, I feel like they're trying to make this like more appealing to the mainstream by toning down those kind of funny comedic moments and making it more realistic but you know if you've read the manga you know that chainsaw man it's known a large part of why it's famous is because of these viral meme moments where although like not to downplay the other stuff in chainsaw man you know there's a reason why a certain car scene is so popular bar throw up scene dance scene burger scene kiss scene like it's like you flip the page and they're, they're first they're like doing some devil hunting stuff. It's like all serious. And then you flip the page and it's like, oh, they're at a car and they're about to like, something is about to crazy, like <laughs> the faces and they're all sweating and all that stuff. Yeah, that doesn't happen in this. It just does not have that feel in this anime. But we're going to know by the time the barf scene happens, which is going to happen in this season pretty soon. Depending on how they handle that, I feel like we'll tell in the future. But I feel like they'll handle those of super iconic moments. They're still going to keep that funny tone because why would they not want it to be a meme because that's the fastest way for it to spread they want it to be a viral meme for the anime just like it was for the manga so i think they're going to keep it like that for those those more viral moments but for the everyday exaggerations and whatnot they're just going to tone it down to make it more 
mainstream, which I feel like it's kind of similar to, you know, corporate visual design, like graphic design. You know how the logos for companies, they've been slowly minimizing them, minimalization is sizing them, like Mozilla Firefox, where it used to look like a fox, and now, like, I don't even know what it looks like anymore. You know, everything, like Microsoft Windows was clearly some windows, and then, like, Microsoft now is just some squares. Same with Google, like, I mean, all those Googles, just its name, but they just been toning down logos. And I feel like it's like the same corporate type of look for this. And I got to agree with some of those Japanese comments about how they toned down the voice acting because you can see because Chainsaw Man, they had a collaboration with this popular mobile game in Japan called Monster Strike. And there they had the voice actors voice act the lines in the game. And you can see that they feel a lot more expressive in that game than the lines in the anime. But obviously it's a game, so maybe they did it on purpose, but I don't know. I feel like if they didn't have Ryu Nakayama directing them in the game, maybe that's why, because he was definitely telling them to tone it down for the anime. All right, and then here, I wanna talk about this blog post from Sakugaburu, which is like a more hardcore anime website. Well, not really hardcore, but more focused on the animation in general and the Sakuga, of course. Uh, so basically, Ryu Nakayama grew up in this Haruhi era where uh, it spawned this whole moe, like, cute kawaii dancing culture. Like, basically this weeb stuff, which, like, it's not like I hate that stuff, but basically Chainsaw Man was never gonna have that, so I don't know why he had to bring it up. Because that stuff pretty much spawned like a whole religion. Well, I guess Chainsaw Man does have its own religion. Like Chainsaw Man was not going to look like that. It was definitely going to look a lot more realistic. Um, I have to agree with some of the points here. Like it's losing some of Fujimoto's magic. And the ending songs, the artwork looks like more stylized. Which it's keeping the interpretation closer to the manga. While Ryu Nakayama's directing towards the whole anime seems to stray away from that interpretation. Because, you know, he's just doing something of his own. One thing to note though is episode 4 is directed by Yoshihara, which I believe made Black Clover look really amazing for one episode or some scenes, so I think I really like that one compared to the other ones, so we'll have to see in the future. Anyways, I'm going to link this down below, let me know what you think, and peace out.